Praise the Lord to everyone under the sound of my voice. The word of the Lord came to me, Carl Tracy Williams, servant of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, saying, Live by the word. There are so many voices and so many opinions out in the world. If you don't learn to follow the truth, you will be led right into a shipwreck. This is why you must live by the word of God. Matthew 4, 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And it is written, How are you going to get the mote out of your brother's eye and don't see the beam in your own eye? Luke 6, 41, 42. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. We all have something in our eyes. If I give my opinion, that won't get the mote out of my brother's eye, and it certainly hasn't done anything to get the beam out of my own eye. I need to see clearly to get sin out of my life and to witness to get sin out of my brother or sister's life. Romans 2.11 For there is no respect to persons with God. There is a solution. It is the word of God. Psalms 119.105 Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hebrews 4.12.13 For the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing sunder of soul and spirit, and in the joints and marrow, as is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of whom we have to do. When we live by the word of God, it shows us we have a beam in our eye. And we can take that same word of God and show our brother or sister they have a moat in their eye. The word of God will stand up against anything. The word of God is perfect. Psalms 119.89 Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. James 1.25 but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he, being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. No man is greater than his master, and God is the master through Jesus Christ our Savior. By Jesus we know now what is correct and what is incorrect, what is righteous and what is unrighteous. What is holy and what is unholy? But every one that is perfect shall be as his master, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Luke 640. The disciple is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. Romans 7 and 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay. I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect throughout furnishly, Unto all good works. If we don't live by the word of God, but base everything on our opinions, our morals, or whatever, then we are hypocrites when we point out our neighbor's faults, because we have nothing to stand on but our opinion. 
And without the word to correct us, we find we have the same thoughts. Blind leading the blind. Matthew 15, 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Matthew 15, 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. The word of God is truth. It reveals sin. So if we believe the word, we will repent, change. Then we will live by the word of God, just like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. 1 Timothy 2, 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? There is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. But how do you walk after the spirit? By living from the word of God. Jesus said, the words that I speak are spirit and they are life. It is written, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. The Word of God is Spirit. Those who walk in the Spirit walk, live by the Word of God. Hallelujah. Romans 1, 8 and 1. There is therefore no, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. John 6, 63, it is the spirit that quickened, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. 1 John 5, 7, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Galatians 5, 16, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Our opinions don't save souls. Our opinions won't get sin out of our lives. The word of God has the words to eternal life. So when we live by the word of God, we can show the sinner, the backslider, the unbeliever what sin is and what solution to sin is. Remember, I didn't say what was sin. The word of God tells us what is sin. With the word of God, we can say to ourselves, so we are in sin. We can examine ourselves and see there is sin, not because we say what is sin, but because the word of God says, what is sin? John 6, 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. 2 Corinthians 13, 5, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know you not your own selves? How that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. We preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. When you live by the word of God, then you have gotten sin out of your life. Woo, hallelujah. Your life is just like Jesus told you to do. John 5, 14. Afterward, Jesus finding him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. How? Because the word of God says, Thou shalt not covet, so you stop lusting. Thank you, Jesus. Now you can stand in the freedom that Christ and God has made you free. Now you can witness that God is a deliverer. Why? Because now you live 
by the word and God has delivered you. Galatians 5, 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not again entangled with the yoke of bondage. You can now stand without condemnation because you live the word of God and do the will of our Father in heaven, which is to witness to lost souls. If you don't live by the word of God, you are a hearer only and not a doer deceiving yourselves. Your witness has no power. Now, if you tell the world not to steal and you steal, or you tell the world not to fornicate, but you lust with my eyes and call it eye candy, you become a hypocrite. You crucify Jesus again. Put him to an open shame. These things should not be. The devil is using seducing spirits to entice men and women to compromise with sin and become the victims of sin. James 1, 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Romans 2, 21 through 24. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that are whorest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thyself boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonoring thou God. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you as it is written. Hebrews 6 and 6. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open saying. Galatians 2, 4. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Revelation 3, 15 and 16. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I spew thee out of my mouth. Live by the word of God. You can preach or teach if you don't live it. How are you going to preach it? How are you going to teach it? you got to live it. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, how can you talk about being saved? If you don't have the Holy Ghost, how do you have power over sin? That's why you teach. That's when you teach all sin because that's all you know. You haven't been made a new creature. Thank you, Jesus. You always saying we all sin, but you haven't been made a new creature. Old things have passed away. You're living the will and not by the power of the Holy Ghost. See, when the old things don't pass away from you, you're living on willpower. You need the Holy Ghost power. You are reading the letter of the law without the spirit of Christ in you. Because willpower vanishes away when trials and tribulations arise. You need Holy Ghost power. If you compromise with sin, you will eventually do sin and become a sinner. 1 Timothy 1, 6, 7. From which some, having swerved, having turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. Matthew 13, 20, 21. But he that receiveth the seed in stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and annoyed with joy receiveth it. Yet he hath not root in himself, but doeth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. John 8, 34. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. But if you live the word of God, then you know the word of God tells you, give no place to the devil, none. The word of God tells you, make no provision for the flesh. None. 
The word of God tells you, come out from among them and be ye separate from the world. Hallelujah. The word of God tells you, be holy for I, the Lord your God, is holy every day. The devil tells you through people's opinion, you can't live perfect. You can't live that. Everybody sins. Yada, 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 etc. That's all they say. When you live the word of God, you can tell them you don't testify for me. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me, the Holy Ghost, than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. In your patience, possess your souls. Stop before you give in to the devil. God doesn't sin. He who commits sin is of the devil. We follow Jesus. The devil tempted Jesus all the time in the wilderness, in the cross, in the temple. Jesus even said, I chose 12 of you and one of you is a devil. Hallelujah. That's why, just like Jesus told us, you must be born again. Without that born again experience, you don't have any power. But when you have that born again experience, you become a new creature and you can follow in the footsteps of Jesus. So when we follow Jesus' footsteps, then the disciple, hallelujah, becomes as his master, Jesus, perfect. Amen. Neither give place to the devil. Ephesians 4, 27, Romans 13, 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. 2 Corinthians 6, 17, 18. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. 1 Peter 1, 14 through 16. As obedient children, not fashion yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. 1 John 4 and 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. 1 John 2, 16, 17. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Hallelujah. Luke 21, 19. In your patience possess ye your souls. James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. 1 John 3 and 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hebrews 4.15 For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the filling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we, yet without sin. John 6.70 Jesus answered them, Have I, I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Hallelujah. John 3, 5 through 7, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. Acts 1 8, but you shall receive power. Hallelujah. You shall receive power. Hallelujah. You shall receive power. Hallelujah. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 
1 Peter 2, 21, 23, For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Luke 640, the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Amen.